today we're down at the beautiful Staffs Worcester Canal. Just look at this business. I'm going to get set up and try and catch this beautiful lock house. There's a fantastic reflection on it. Join me in a bit and hopefully we'll get some beautiful colours farther up the canal. As you walk up there's a couple of big beech trees. I don't know if you can see on the GoPro just at the top there, the light is just catching them and lighting them up. But I'm hoping for a few boats as well, a few barges, and it's looking beautiful. No wind, so the reflection should be tremendous. Drum in a bit. So first little shot is I'm just lining up the gates coming across to the end of the uh, the arm on the lock and the boat house in and the lock house in there. Looks beautiful, it does. I'll show you the back of the camera what I'm doing. So pretty little scene and we have literally just filling in the gates on the left hand side, got the lock arm on the right. So everything to do with this lock house is in the shot. Beautiful reflection, it's nice and calm. Looks great, it does. The settings for this are, let me get them up, ISO 100, I'm just a slightly underexposed, F11 and a fifth of a second. Looks beautiful. There is some beautiful, is it pampas grass? Um, so I'm going to have a quick little walk there and just see if I can line something up. I can see some boats below the lock. So let's see if there's a little shot, something to do with that. Yeah. Just look at this beautiful grass. I'm just going to line up a quick shot. Um, literally, just the, the grass and the view down the canal, a couple of boats down there. Um, looks beautiful, it's not moving at all, there's no breeze at all here. There's some beautiful yellows and oranges behind it. I'm hoping that the camera will pick that up as well. So, I'll save this one to the end of the video for you. But it looks absolutely beautiful, especially with it being perfectly still. I love it. Betsy's getting bored, so I think I'd better move on with that. And join me a little bit farther up the canal. Let's see what we can catch. I'm absolutely loving this reflection down there. I don't know if the GoPro is going to pick it up. Because all the yellow and orange bracken, you've got the green grasses growing, all beautifully reflected. And I can't get in the shot. The boat, the, the keep called the boat house, the lock house, straight away up to here. Um, let me show you the back of the camera and I'll talk you through what I'm going to do with the photograph. So, as you can see, beautiful shot. We have got the lock house down the bottom there. I'm just going to do a simple shot, just focus there, F11, ISO 100, and then I will crop this into a 16 by 9 just to take out a bit more of the sky. There's nothing in the sky, it is just grey. So, Yeah, I will get rid of so, as much of that as, as possible. And looks beautiful, it does. The reflection is absolutely stunning. Beautiful reflections. We have got a couple of boats in front now, but we are looking straight into just grey sky. So I'm not going to bother from this direction. I'll see what it's like when I come back. I do love these canals. Um, they're local to me. We're currently on the Staffs Worcester Canal at uh, Kimba. And it's it's just stunning here. I've spent many days fishing down all, all the way along this canal. Um, I think that's why it holds a special place for me. It's just just beautiful here, yeah. absolutely beautiful. So I'm loving the reflections. Let me just try and show you this. Absolutely stunning, stunning. It is so calm the water. Yeah, the only thing I've got to wash today is that I don't fall in. I do suffer with vertigo, uh, and a lot of the shots I find on canals you need to get right on the very edge of the towpath. So, please, if you come to canals taking photographs, don't fall in. If you hear a big splash, I will put it on the video, you will catch it. But I'm hoping 
not to actually go in today. Yeah, Betsy's legged it again up the canal, she loves it down there. And uh, got to go and try and find her, so catch me in a bit up all these beech trees, some beautiful beaches up here. I'm hoping they're going to look stunning. Just took this lovely little scene here. It's it's all about the colour. This is. I've just got. A, I've took a photo with Betsy just stood here looking into the into the canal, and I've took another one focused just on the beech trees, the oranges. And what I should do, I should just mask Betsy in on the one that's focused in the distance, so there's focused throughout the image. And uh, yeah, it looks stunning. It does. The colours are beautiful. I'll put it on for you right now. Look at these stunning colours. Loving the orange on the path, leading up. And I'm just just framing this just for these colours. The beech tree there, the stack of beech up the top. There's orange reflection there. It looks absolutely stunning. Betsy's playing with a little mate, Kizzy. I think Kizzy's playing with Betsy more like it, really. Betsy's hunting. Kizzy wants to play. So they're having a good time. So that's all that matters. I'm just going to. Uh, turn around and show you down the canal this side now just look at that absolutely lovely there is a boat in the distance and I'm thinking I should have bought maybe my 200 mil lens I think there's a good shot there with a the zoom but uh, not to worry I'm going to carry on walking up the canal and let's see what I can find up there so I've just turned around from taking this orange path looking down the canal um, don't know if it's doing it for me I'm a bit undecided really again I think it needed 200 mil um, I've just got on my 24 to 70 on full frame and 70 mil isn't quite enough if I could have got closer onto the boat I might try and crop it in a bit but what I was talking about about not falling in as you can see the tripod is right on the edge of the canal um, which makes it highly likely you're going to go in especially if you're like me and suffer with a little bit of vertigo um, I can suddenly just go and it has been known I've been in the canals so get the shot but be careful don't fall in I've just walked past these beautiful beech trees and in the hole in this tree here there are, I don't know if they're ornits or wood wasps they look like wood wasps um, there are probably 20 or 30 of them so I'm not going to get that close but there is a beautiful little photograph just the path and the colours in the tree it looks absolutely beautiful it does I may try to just get a shot of one of these wasps I don't fancy getting stung so should I shouldn't I drop me a comment should I have got a photograph of these there's about 20 or 30 in there I think they're wood wasps they're probably two inches long like ornits um, drop me a comment should I be brave and put me, me, me big boy pants on and go and get a photograph of them or should I steer clear I'm fancying steering clear because I don't fancy getting stung by one so I'll put this photograph on for you anyway right now looks beautiful Beautiful. Right, that's as close as I'm going to get to it. Um, I don't know if the GoPro is going to pick them up flying in and out. Um, I really don't want to get any closer because I don't fancy getting stung. I know these things hurt like hell when they get you. So 
I just took a photograph and I'll try and zoom in and actually show you. So you can see them in there. Amazing creatures. There are loads of them just flying around. So I'm going to leave them alone now. Not going to get any closer anyway. Just going to head back now towards the car and uh, I've got a fair walk. So you've got to, to get here, you can't actually drive here. You've got to walk across the field and through some fields of horses and stuff, which I'll carry a she she doesn't bother with horses. But I have had a fantastic couple of hours down this uh, canal. It does look stunning here. There's a uh, there's a boat, it looks like there's a boat just coming into the lock. In I might just hang on and try and catch this just coming out. I'm just going to hang on, I'm just going to get this shot with the boat just coming through the lock. Um, just to add that little bit extra into the photograph. It's a beautiful lock house this is though, absolutely stunning. Well photographed, well photographed. I'll put this on anyway at the end of the video um, because it's going to be moving I'm going to have to probably up the ISO and let me see how to get on. Uh, the shutter speed is quite slow because it is quite dark here so I think just up the ISO if ever you get stuck like this and some starts moving you want a faster speed. Set your aperture for good depth of field with what you want and up the ISO just to up the shutter speed and you will get your shot I'll put it on at the end of the video lovely little shot with the boat coming through so I'm going back to the car now uh, check the description below there are links to all the gear that I use and other stuff there's a uh, drop me a comment on which is your favourite image. Um, I do love them down here. The reflections are good, the, the, boat, the, the lock house is lovely, especially with the boat coming through now, it looks great. If you prefer just the lock house without the boat, again, let me know, drop me a comment. Please like and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It, it helps Betsy keep it, well, it helps keep her in biscuits. Um, so simple thing to do just where it says subscribe just hit the button and we'll just tap where it says subscribe and you will subscribe to the channel there are videos coming on every week um, I will be heading back up to Scotland shortly I've got to take my parents up to visit my sister and brother-in-law up on the Isle of Mull so while I'm up there I'll have to do a few more videos Hopefully still catch the autumn colours, they have turned up there, just a bit colder. But they have also forecast a few heavy gales, big storm gales coming through, so I'm just hoping they don't fetch all the leaves off the trees before I get there. Yeah, anyway, here's all the photographs. Enjoy them, and until next time, take it easy. Mm -hmm.